So hello guys and welcome to the second part of our advanced web browser project. So the first part went very very well and we all thank you very much for all your support. So you know since we are in the beginning your support is very important to us to get this channel to another level. So just keep subscribing and liking the videos and for God's sake we need our first comment. We still don't have a comment so comment. <laughs> Okay, now let's uh, continue with this epic project. So the second part will we contain uh, some functions, okay, some some stuff, some code to make the web browser functional. So let me go to the project. Now during the first video, uh, I said you to rename this uh, text box to TXE your search engines. Now instead of naming this uh, text box, I named the whole tool strip to TXT. Uh, URL search engine. So, you know, fix this mistake, go to the TXT and name this to TXT URL search engines and go to the tool strip and name this tool strip navigator. So I don't make the same mistakes that I did. All right, so now let's go inside the code. So we need to code the, our button. So go to the back button and s type then web browser one dot go back. Then go to the second button and type web browser one, go forward. And then the refresh button. So web browser one dot refresh. Uh, refresh. Okay. Now uh, we want every time. So you know we're very well that web browsers. Every time you go somewhere they have the URL at the top, right? So we don't have the URL. Even if we search something on Google, we don't. We still don't have the URL. So we need to fix this, okay? So what can you do about this? It's, it's very simple. You go right here and you s look for Web Browser 1, which is the last one, and then you go, and then you go to the events and look for Navigated. So here you will type this very, very easy code. So txt URL dot text equals to web browser. Come on, web browser one dot URL dot to string. So if we check this now, we have the URL. And let's also check our buttons backward, forward, refresh. Everything worked perfect. Okay, and as you see, every time we go somewhere, the URL changes. You see here. So this is actually what we want. Now, except that we want to navigate to, to, the, to the website by pressing enter on the txt URL. So how can we do this? Well, you search again for txt URL and then you go to the events and you search for key up and you press that. And then you can type the code. Now the code is if, is an if statement. So if e.keycode equals to enter, then web browser one dot navigate uh, txt url dot text. So this means that every time we navigate somewhere according to the to the URL. So let me check this. For example, if I want to go to YouTube, then I press enter, and yeah, we did it. Very well. So, what else can we do? Um, what about some icons? So, have you noticed that every time you go somewhere, the web pages have icons? Like YouTube, Wikipedia, Facebook, and all these websites? So, let me do that. So, uh, for this one, we need, a, we, need a, we need a function, okay? So, we need a sub function. So, private sub. Uh, we will name these web icons, okay, and then we will need to import import system dot net and import system dot io. Okay, now we have to create our web client. So dim wc as new web client. And dim memory stream, so we can put somewhere 
the, the, the icon, the link as new memory stream and then here you say wc dot download data you open parenthesis and here you type thttp and then new URI so copy everything that I write web browser one Okay, then we have to create an icon, a new icon, so dim icon as new icon and then we say memory stream, we pass memory stream inside. So now we need an if statement, but for the if statement we also need an image list. So go to the components and double click the image list and name this to, actually yeah, image list is fine, the name is fine, so if image list one dot images dot count equals to minus one images not image collection images dot count equals to minus one then image list one <coughs> dot images dot add we add the icon dot to bitmap and then we say now we need the tab control so this is <coughs> this is a web browser and this is a tab control so if you don't have a tab control uh, then double click the tab control right here so let me do this actually so you can see what I do so double click the double tab control and then go to tab pages collections delete the tab page too so you can have only one tab page uh, dock this to fill just contain the whole str uh, screen and then create a web browser inside the tab page so yeah okay so what do we need now is to say to go back to our code and to say tab control one dot selected tab dot image index equals to zero else image list one dot images dot clear image list one dot images dot add uh, icon dot uh, to bitmap and then tab control so it's the same the two these two lines are is are the same code selected tab dot image index equals to zero so except this you have to go back here you have to go to the tab page one and search for image list click this and click image list one so if we run this now hopefully it will work uh, no it didn't work no okay so I will pause the video to see my mistake and I will come back so sorry for this guys now the mistake was right here. I forgot that you don't you know you cannot uh, name this as as you want, so you have to rename this to fav icon dot icon. Okay, just remember this. And so and change this of course. I had it icon. I think actually no, I had it icons. So change this to fav fav icon. And then at the web browser one dot navig uh, navigated, except the txt URL dot text equals to web browser one dot url dot string you also have to call the function so if you change if you click this now if you run this yes you have the icon at the top so if you go to youtube you have the youtube icon yes very well if you go to facebook i guess we have the facebook icon so let me try also this one. And uh, the icon, the icon changed, but the internet is very slow.
okay it worked all right guys so we fixed this so everything now works so what else do we need uh, let me think what else can we do for this project oh yeah of course I forgot so we have the, uh, the search engines right so we have for the moment we have three search engines so let me do that so we need now to work with a txt url search engines and to go to key up so here we will have a select case statement okay so select case uh, cmb search engines dot selected index so we have case 0 we have case 1 and we have case 2 so case 0 we will say if e dot key code equals to key equals to enter then web browser 1 dot navigate we open parenthesis and here we will type the URL so the URL is this one for Google first of all so 0 is Google 1 is YouTube and uh, 2 is Wikipedia so if you go on Google and you search something then you will have a bigger URL but I have this one so you will copy this part only okay Q equals so until then you copy this and then plus uh, txt url search engines dot text so this is for uh, YouTube now let me copy this if statement and paste this now let's search for YouTube what we get for YouTube so for YouTube we have this until here you paste this okay and for Wikipedia so if I search something on Wikipedia we have this wiki until there okay uh, of course you can change the links all right you can have Yahoo of also you can have other search engines they all I think they all work with the same logic so if we run this now great now our selected search engine is Google so let me search on Google uh, web browser and I press enter yes it searched on Google and let's go on YouTube and press enter the same thing happened and on Wikipedia and search enter press enter again it worked okay it worked everything works fine guys all right I think these are the so we have made the the web browser very functional maybe we can create also a home page so let me do this so you click on the project and you go vortex properties because here we will have to create uh, a new name okay you go to settings and here you will type home page and you will leave everything as it is string and user so but we need the we need a URL first so the value will be www.google.com so we go back to the code we go at the form load and you will delete this you don't need that anymore and you will go back here and you will say web browser one dot navigate uh, my dot settings dot um, how is called home page dot to string yeah actually not only home page so this is enough I think let me see this if this works so when you start the web browser nothing appears but when you click this home page 
yes, it worked. All right, guys, I think uh, we did this. Uh, we have made our web browser functional, so everything works fine. Now, these are all for the moment for this video. So next time, we will have something more difficult. So next time, uh, we will have uh, to start with uh, advanced settings. Okay, so stay with us. We have more things coming up. We have. We are also thinking to create uh, a keylogger. So maybe tomorrow or even today, maybe, I don't promise something, but we will start our Keylogger project using again Visual Basic. So we use Visual Basic because Visual Basic is very easy to learn and there are hundreds of tutorials, I mean thousands of tutorials on YouTube. So I think that many of you know this language very well and because we are a new channel, we need some subscribers, we need some likes, we need some comments. So I think that Visual Basic is the right language to start with. So hello, gu uh, hello guys. <laughs> so thank you guys one more time. And don't forget to subscribe, to like this video and comment this video. So thank you very much. See you later with more stuff.